Take it you're not going to Ryerson's homecoming? <laughs> no, uh, luckily I get to uh, miss that and, and uh, you know, kind of start things out here. What's your sense right now? Relief? Happiness? What is it? Uh, I'm glad it's done. Yeah. You know, it's, uh, it's a process nobody really wants to go through. And, uh, you know, fortunately we were able to find a, uh, a common ground and, and uh, get it done before the regular season started. And I'm actually going to get a couple exhibition games in too, so it's a big plus. How did you get You've to gone through this two ground? years now. Um, is it? Is it getting difficult every summer, kind of going through this kind of process? Um, yeah, I mean, like I said, it's it's not something that you you look forward to. I mean, it's a it's a pretty grueling process, and um, you know you don't recommend it to anybody. It's it's uh, it's not like it's fun or anything like that. So um, you know, like I said, I'm glad it's done, and uh, you know, happy to move forward here. Why did you choose not to go to arbitration? Uh, we just me and my agents felt that it wasn't uh, you know smart for us to do so. Um, a couple of different factors uh, came into the numbers of things, and uh, our case actually wasn't as strong as uh, most people assume. So, um, you know, we didn't want to go in there and, and get stuck on a, a two-year deal at a number that we weren't, wouldn't be happy with. So we want to, you know, negotiate it ourselves and, and hope to get a one-year. What's the benefit of the one-year for you? Um, well, I mean, the benefit, I think, for both sides is, is being able to be flexible enough to, to get it done in, in time to start the season. And, uh, you know, on a two-year deal, it was just, I think the, the numbers were just too far apart from our standpoint and where they were wanting to get things done. So, um, you know, the one year was a big thing for us, and, um, you know, we were able to make it flexible and, and make it work for here. So if you score again at a 53-point pace, which you scored at last year, do you anticipate next year's negotiations to be a little bit smoother? <laughs> I hope so. Uh, you know, uh, like, like I said, I, I really don't want to go through that again. I mean, hopefully the circumstances aren't that. And, uh, you know, I mean, I, I love being here in Toronto. This is where I want to be, and that's uh, the main reason why, you know, everything happened. So, um, like I said, I'm happy it's done and uh, looking forward to, to getting going. How do you feel physically? Good, good. I was, uh, I was skating five days a week at Ryerson and, uh, you know, two-hour skates there and a couple bag skates a day. And, um, you know, the facility they have there is great. They've done a, a really nice job with that. They got a nice gym and, um, you know, the, uh, the trainer's area is good. So it was, um, you know, good situation for the circumstance. What changed sometimes? even in the past 24 hours to get this done now? Um, we, we were able to, to come to terms on term was, was the big thing. You know, once, once the term was settled and we agreed upon that, then, you know, it took a little while to, uh, you know, finalize the number. But, uh, you know, for us and me and my agent, that was our big thing, and, and obviously we were able to be, you know, down low enough to, to make everything work and, and keep everybody here. Cody, Cody, how many times do you, uh, you know, players shy away from commentating uh, on this, but uh, your teammates showed you support. What did that mean? Well, I mean, it's great. That, that's part of the reason why I love it here. You know, we've got a good group of guys. Um, you know, I've, I've been very fortunate in the opportunities I've been given here, and, um, you know, I've worked a long time to be in a situation like the one I was in last year, and and uh, I, I don't want to do anything to jeopardize that. So, um, you know, I, I want to take, uh, you know, a big step forward with this team here and, and uh, do everything I can to help us win. How do you build off last year now? Uh, it just, just try and, and keep uh, momentum going. You know, uh, you know the, the second you get complacent, the second you make a mistake. And, uh, you know, I mean, I learned that firsthand my first year. is coming in a little too comfortable. And, you know, I, uh, I got put in the press box because of it. So. I'll never make that mistake twice, and uh, you know that's that's uh, kind of the mindset behind everything I do. How, how, was, how did you feel with the reaction coming out today? People banging their sticks on <laughs> you know, and asking them to you immediately, and gave it to you a little bit. I mean, how did that feel? That reaction, just being back on the ice. It, it was great. You know, uh, when, when you go through a process like that, you you miss the everyday routine and, and seeing the guys every day, and uh, you know, just just being around everything, and uh, you know, preparing for the the start of the season, and. Uh, you know, it, it was taking a little longer than, than I would hope, and, uh, you know, it, it was nice to get out there again today. Cody, did things change for you that game in Buffalo in late January when, when Mike didn't get the opportunity to start and all of a sudden you're back in the lineup for good? Yeah, I mean, uh, I think that was the turning point for me, you know. Uh, you know, you never wish injury upon anybody, but, you know, Mike got hurt in practice, and, and I was the fill-in for that night and uh, had a good night, and, you know, I just tried to run with it, and, you know, that was the first time me and Frey's played together, and we just kind of clicked. You know, we uh, went over some things before the game and, you know, how we were going to go about different situ situations and, you know, how we were going to play those type of things, and it worked really well, and we just kind of built on it after that. Were you starting to get worried 
as each day went by getting closer to the regular season, kind of thinking what's going to happen? Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I didn't want to miss any time. You know, uh, with, with the new setup in the standings and, you know, you never know which two points are, are going to be the most important points. And I didn't want to be, you know, missing any time of that if I could help it. And, uh, you know, like I said, I, I'm happy we were able to come and, and find a, uh, uh, you know, a middle ground and, and get it done. Will two games be enough to hit the trigger? Yeah, I mean, my uh, my weekly routine was was pretty hectic in in Rice, and there are two hour skates and and bag skates and stuff like that. So I, it's not like I feel out of shape. I mean, obviously the reps are a little different, and it's you know, all the timing too is no good. Yeah, exactly. You know, those those two games will be good for that to get me back in the uh, the thought process of things, and uh, you know how quickly you have to think, and you know, obviously the speed and skill of the game is a little different. So. Um, you know, those reps in the exhibition games would be good for me to get, and I'm looking forward to it. Are you optimistic, even though you have a one-year deal, that this can be a long-term relationship with you and the Leafs, that, that, well, the, that the feelings aren't too bad that you can move forward together? Or? Yeah, I mean, at the end of it, you know, you sit back and, you know, you kind of look at it and you realize that it's, it's just business, you know, that the, they've got a job to do, and, you know, that is to try and make everything work. and. Um, you know, I understand that, and uh, you know, like, this is where I want to be. I mean, this is my dream place to play. So, um, you know, I, I'm hopeful that uh, you know it's a long-term deal coming up after this.